Hello and welcome to Inside the Women of Denver, where leaders share their successes, failures, and lessons learned on the journey to success. I'm Crystal Covington, founder of Women of Denver, and I'm here with Lori Heisler, founder of The Leadership Influence. Lori's focus is helping others use their influence to create systemic change for the greater good. She's a leader, mentor, and coach who helps highly successful and motivated professionals develop their leadership capacity. Lori, I'm so glad to have you on the show. Thanks for having me. It's great <laughs> to be here. I'm excited to talk. Tell me a little bit about what it means to be a great leader. Oh goodness, what, a, what it means to be a great leader. Well, I would say, I believe that it's every person's responsibility to develop the people around them, which makes everyone a leader. Um, and we get to choose how we use our influence to impact the people around us and to impact our world. I love it. All right, now how did you get into this business? What inspired your passion to become a coach to leaders? Sure, well, I would say starting out as an educator, I've really been a leader all of my life. Um, I think that I have always been that person that has had, that has had a voice for others and that people have appreciated in that way, in that I'm a bit of a risk taker, so I don't mind speaking up and asking the tough questions when they need to be asked. And as an educator, one of the primary responsibilities as an educator is to create change um, and continuous improvement, which makes almost every educator a leader, right? And what I found in education after a while was that I was supporting children, supporting teachers, right. supporting staff, supporting parents, and I didn't always feel like there was someone supporting me. Uh. And to do that kind of work, to be a teacher, an educator, of, of any, any person, any service professional, you need someone who is inspiring you and someone who is leading you. So I did choose to leave education and went off on my own to inspire others so that they can reach their potential. Beautiful. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about what it takes what does it mean to get started in this business? What does it take to become a Lori? Oh, a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Crystal, it's a really great question. I would say that the, the year of transition between education and becoming an entrepreneur and a leader in my community has been the greatest, has been the year of greatest growth. I've probably grown, I mean, I definitely have grown tremendously it throughout that transition. There were times it was hard, there were times it was scary, there were times it's still scary, mm -hmm. but it was the opportunity to create the life that I wanted, to create the life for others that I wanted, and to do what I was most passionate about. So for me, it was a lot of personal development, a lot of getting clear with what my fears are, what my triggers are, um, the areas of my own life that I want to develop and get better at because for me to show up for other people I have to show up for myself first yeah. so I would say if you're going to become an entrepreneur or any kind of a leader you need to definitely work within first and be really clear about who it is that you are so there's a lot of people out there that probably want to become an entrepreneur they want to find out you know what does it take for me to be there and one thing I've experienced on the entrepreneurial journey is that there are some inner demons that I fight <laughs> all of the time, yes. things that I believe in that hold me back. Sure. How does somebody start to fight those effectively and to become, to rise up to the leadership potential that they have as an entrepreneur? Sure, well that's where the inner work is, right? Um, and one of the things I believe is the best kind of professional development that you can do is to develop yourself personally. Personal development actually almost trumps professional development because it's just going to add to your skill set. And I would say that those those fears and those worries and concerns and insecurities really are your ego talking, screaming at you, saying, oh, who do you think you are? No, you can't do that. And every single person fights that. The yeah. most successful people to the people who are striving to get there. And it's up to us as leaders to overcome that. And it's the people who can who can witness that feeling, who can acknowledge that feeling, say thank you very much and move on and rise above it, that are going to be the leaders that excel and that really create the influence and impact that they wanna make in the world. Um, so what is your definition of success? What does it mean to become a successful businesswoman? I'm so glad you asked me that because I, I have really been working on defining what success is for myself 
um, and it really stemmed from this conversation that I had two weeks ago where I was attending a workshop on, on bias and this um, activity involved people being labeled with what gender they were, what race they were, what ethnicity they were, and they had to go around and they had to get a job. This was a simulation. They had to get a job, they had to get a mortgage, they had to um, do a bunch of different things that we as Americans or as a westernized society consider to be successful. Mm. And one of the things that I believe in is it's not about success, it is about um, significance. So. Okay. Yes, do I want a nice big mountain home? Of course. Would I like a nice fancy car? Absolutely. But for me, I'll know that I'm successful if I've made a significant impact. So I don't wake up every day saying, how can I be successful today? It's how can I be of significance today? How can I contribute to someone else's life and make the world better? And really, I think that's what we're all looking for, is yeah. to know that while we're here, that we, that we did something of significance. I talk about something similar. I always tell people that it's important to have value, to give value to other people. Yes. And that it, it reminds me of that same viewpoint. I feel like we have a lot of this a lot of similarity That's there. Where you get along so well. <laughs> Absolutely. I love Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, and you know, I I believe that um, one of the things I always talk about with my clients is you give more to give more. Yeah. So so we don't give to get. Um, which ultimately, when you do give, you do receive. But when you come from a mindset of the more I give, the more I have to give, um, really what that's about is if I go out and I volunteer in the community, I'm now more knowledgeable of what's happening in my community. I've built relationships. I'm filled with energy. Um, and now I have more to give others. And, I, and by building my own knowledge base, that allows me to give more. So ultimately, it's just, it comes back, right? In many, many, many ways. Great, I wanna ask you one last question. Sure. And I wanna know, what has been your greatest transformation? You're doing a lot of work as far as personal development, uh, helping to develop others. What's been transformational for you? What's been most transformational for me is when I first started as an entrepreneur, I was virtual, I was online, I was behind my computer, and it was awful, mm -hmm. <laughs> especially having come from the education environment where I was with children and people every single day. And as I have gotten out more in my community, what I've been able to do is realize, oh, these are the things that I'm passionate about. These are the causes that I'm passionate about. And being able to build that network and then build that into my business has probably been the biggest transformation for me. I so, love it. Yeah. Thank you so much, thank Lori, you. for being a part it's of the show. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much. And thank you for being a part of our conversation. Um, I appreciate you watching the show. This is Inside the Women of Denver, and I'll see you next time.